Welcome back, taking a look at the Great Falls Clinic Eye Cam. Some nice, clear, and sunny skies this morning, nice and pretty. Those highs will be around 76 degrees, which is just a little bit above average, and even those lows will be above average starting today and continuing throughout the rest of the weekend. But those Helena Opportunity Bank of Montana weather cam is showing a little bit of some more clouds, but that doesn't mean that that sunshine doesn't have an opportunity to shine this morning. Um, your highs today are going to be around 80 degrees, which is a little bit above average, like I said earlier, but those above average temperatures will continue as those temperatures continue to warm. Chances of showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible through today and tomorrow with warmer and drier conditions on the way for this weekend. But taking a look at that Doppler radar, there isn't a lot in terms of that precipitation so far, a little bit um, of some of those scattered showers south of Haver, but for the most part, we aren't seeing much of that precipitation yet. Isolated showers and thunderstorms are going to be possible throughout the day with more chances of those showers and thunderstorms to pop up tomorrow. But currently those temperatures are in the 30s and the 40s, a little bit warmer over here on the eastern portion of the state with around 48 for Malta and 50 degrees for Glasgow, but a little bit cooler over in central Montana with those temperatures around 30 degrees going up into the 70s for later today and that's all because of your upper level patterns. Now just because that long wave trough that we've seen kind of hanging over the area the last couple of days is gone up in Canada, we're still going to see um, a compact shortwave trough over the area for the next couple of days. But these warmer temperatures are still going to try and make their way up into our region. And off into the West Pacific, there is a ridge that will begin to make its way into the area tomorrow for the weekend, which will warm things up significantly. But taking a look at that future track, there isn't going to be much in terms of precipitation today, just the isolated showers and thunderstorm chances. Um, but those clouds won't even really be an issue as well through most of the region until later tonight when we'll see partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies popping up a little bit of some rain later this evening over in the eastern portion of the state with some chances of thunderstorms but most of this rain and thunderstorm chances will pop up tomorrow more starting tomorrow morning and continuing throughout the day now there's going to be some more chances of some thunderstorms could be severe um, tomorrow as well but those winds shouldn't be too much of an issue today and tomorrow unless Unless you do get a chance to see some of those thunderstorms where those isolated wind gusts could pop up. But today, for the most part, they're going to remain around that 5 to 10, 10 to 20 mile per hour range. They shouldn't really be exceeding 20 miles per hour. But your highs today are going to be in the 70s, maybe even the 80s for some areas. Mostly sunny, nice and warm. We'll also see those low temperatures tonight down into the 40s and the 50s. Mostly cloudy for some areas and nice and cool. 